got a plaster on my finger because I've ripped off half my nail. Ow. Welcome back everyone. Today we are reviewing another product as always and this one I'm excited for. This one I'm excited for, right? I'm gonna tell you why I'm excited for this one. I've been wanting one of these since I've been a child. Since forever. And now I'm an adult, still a child in my mind, I've got one. I'm so excited to show you what this is, how small it is, and what it can do. This thing right here is called the P400 Plus Mini Projector. Get that in your mind, mini. What do you mean mini? Projectors are normally huge, right? No, this thing is minute. Okay, so this is by a company called AAXA, or AXA, 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 however you want to say it. And this, this packs a punch. So it is a small device. This is it. This is how small. Comparison to my phone, this, I mean the thickness, yeah, well, no, but the size. That would fit in your back pocket if you had big enough pockets. This is an LED Pico projector. I've used it and abused it. I've actually had this go in for at least six hours throughout the day plugged in and it's been fantastic. It works in daylight, which was surprising. But let's start off with obviously what's in the box is the projector there. Unfortunately, you do get a European plug or a US plug. I'm not sure what one this is, where obviously in the UK we have the three pins. Very simple, go to your local supermarket and get a adapter, works fantastic. Uh, it is just a standard DC charger anyway. If you have a DC charger that is 19 volts out, then I guess you could just use that. But I, I tend to stick with what they provide. You get a small little tripod. Now these normally come with your cheap sort of budget friendly action cameras, these little tripods. Um, so I don't recommend really using these because they are quite flimsy. It does obviously hold up the projector. It's just if it gives it a wobble, it will fall over. So what I do, because it takes the standard mounting screw, you can just use a normal tripod, which I use which the camera's on now and I just fix it to that with a quick release obviously it's at the bottom here so you just quick release on there and you can slide it in and out of any tripod that has a quick release grip I mean if you don't have any of that this tripod does do its job it's sturdy but it is very knockable it's easy to knock over that's what I'm saying but it comes with one which a lot of things don't and now the thing that I love is a remote to be able to sit back relax and just click a button this does it all this goes through your menus it goes through all your different outputs because this thing does quite a lot and we'll get into that volume on and off and it can even control your Amazon fire stick so you don't even need two controllers and that's everything you get in the box and obviously your manual which no one needs we're gonna go over the build quality of this thing now it is plastic mainly obviously the inside components they're heavy they're weighted so for what you get and what you see here it's incredible and when they say amazing things come in small packages this does just that so when I first got it out of the box like I said I've used it a few times it was broad daylight like it is now cast it on this wall at the back here and it was on I could see the image I thought I had a broken device until I realized there's a focal point on the side here scroll up or down to change the focal points uh, for the distance that you want I can put the projector here at this close to the wall and it will project onto the full wall crystal clear once I've obviously changed the focal points because that's what happened I I put it down I done it to the wall and I thought this is blurry what is going on and literally just one notch down and it cleared up crystal clear the menus work fantastic it's super simple to use it has streaming services like Disney Plus Amazon Prime Netflix uh, and also ESPN inside of this so all you have to do is sign in and it's done but if you don't have any of those streaming services but you do have a Google Chromecast a Amazon Fire Stick a USB with some files on there like movies music whatever or a TF card like a little SD card that will take it all this will everything can go into this and even mirror in your phone. So if you don't have any of these Chromecast things and you wanna cast a film, just mirror your phone screen to this projector via Bluetooth and voila. Even though it is a native 1080p system, this will support 4K and I mean, it does it fantastically. Let's have a little look around the device itself. So on the front panel, you have your speaker in the middle, very centered, and on the left is the projector itself. Then turning to the side, you have two fans, not just one, but two to keep it at a minimal heat capacity. And I mean, it does its job really well. There's three different brightnesses you can choose from, which is eco standard, and boost when it's on boost you get both fans kicking in at the same time but you still can hear the film or whatever is playing over the top of the fans so that's good you don't just hear 
the fans whirling in the background all the time. Even though on eco mode, the lighting is not that dark, it's quite bright still, so you could just keep it on eco and it would last you the whole two hours. When it was on boost, I'd probably say this only lasts around about an hour, so you're best off keeping it plugged in. Coming on to the back side here, you have a TF card slot or an SD card slot, the infrared, I believe, for the controller and the light to tell you if it's powered on. Then moving on to the opposite side, you have your on-off switch, your DC plug in, your reset button, and then your video input, and also your headphone jack. The headphone jack quite surprised me because you can either have headphones plugged in or a splitter cable so you can both hear it if you're both watching a film, or you can actually plug in a surround sound system, a sound bar, whatever you have that is a jack and goes into this, which is very, very handy if the speaker is just not giving out that much volume. Even though at full maximum the volume is insanely loud and still crispy, at some points when they do hit their high pitch it does crackle so you don't want to blow the speaker, just be careful of that if you do ever do that. On the top here you have a few little function keys which if you don't have the controller with you you can just go over to the box itself, you've got the volume up and down, the arrow keys, the OK button, the back button and the menu button. That is the box itself, very lightweight, very small indeed. We're going to go through some specs while we show off some b-roll of this in use. Starting off with the P400 Plus, this can read files directly from both a TF card and a USB drive. Its supported file types include MP3, WMA, OGG, WAV, AVI, JPEG, GIF, and BMPs. Both slots take up to a 64 gigabyte card or USB. The battery life on this, because this thing is wireless, is two hours at its maximum compatibility. I believe that is in the ecosystem, but when it's on full boost, like I say, you're probably getting around about an hour, but you can plug this in. So that's the overall specs of this device. Now my Personal opinion towards this is I love it. It's just about the battery life. When you have something like this that is battery operated and can go off of just its battery inside, I wish they had some sort of power supply inside instead that you could switch between the battery and also a power supply that's plugged in directly to the box. Because I feel if I kept this plugged in the whole time, I wanted to watch a 12 hour marathon of Lord of the Rings, I believe I probably would burn out the LEDs inside of this bulb. But they say the bulb itself has 30,000 hours of LED usage. Now, I don't know how true that is. I don't really work with projectors, but I would rather not have to keep it plugged in to find out how long they actually last. I feel like when it comes to something that is so portable, having a battery is great that lasts two hours, but there's films out there now that will not even last the amount of time that it takes for this to die. So there is limitations when it comes to what you watch and how long you watch things for. But everything else that comes down to this thing, for the price that you're paying for something like this, is incredible. This piece of technology is mind blowing of how small this can actually get. Literally 20 inches away from a wall and you get yourself a full 32 inch. You can have it at the end of the bed and literally from here to the wall have a 32 inch on the wall without even needing to have it projecting from the ceiling or being all wired in directly through the house. This little thing is incredible. Even if I turn it on now, let's just see. So that is it. Like I say, broad daylight. To put it onto boost for the brightest kind of quality, it is telling me to plug it in. So whether that actually means that you can keep it plugged in for as long as you want, I don't know. I'm still scared to try a 12 hour session and see how it does, but I don't want it to damage, like I said, the bulb inside. But on standard, you can see working absolutely clear as day. So you've got YouTube, ESPN, Disney, Netflix, and Prime Video. Like I said, you can see how dark Netflix is, even in daylight, but if I put that on a dark wall, for some reason it comes out clearer. We're in the middle of the day, it's, it's still showing up on the wall with the, the curtains open, even the lights on. If I turn, I've turned this light off just behind me. That's all it was, and look how clear that is. If I turn the PC off and the main light, that would be watchable in any circumstance. There is also a browser feature on this, so you know, for all you um, wandering eyes out there, yes, you could probably project something not suitable for work on the wall. That also opens up a whole opportunity of 
online gaming and yes you can plug your console into this if there's anything i've missed out that you want to know about this please feel free to leave it in the comments below and i'll get back to you about that because there's a lot of this that there's still so much that i'm learning about this product and it amazes me daily so i will come back to this after a couple of weeks maybe a month or so and do a, another review and say what i've found after so, using it for so long because i i'm using this daily let me tell you that i'm using it whether it's just got something on in the background like youtube playing some music and cast into the wall i'm using it because i want to get the best out of this because i love i love i don't know what it is about a projector it just gets the childhood tingling again and i love it i love it and also a massive thank you to the company for giving me the opportunity to test this and to keep it and use it and just enjoy it being a projector that small that i can take anywhere i'm ah i love it like a non-biased review they haven't told me to say any of this i just physically love projectors I don't know why they just look at it just look at it how cool is that enough jibber jabber my name has been callum this has been the p400 plus mini projector by aaxa or axa however you say it i don't know any questions about this leave it in the comments remember to hit the like hit subscribe notification bell so you don't miss on any of my videos because we have a lot of products on the way coming to be reviewed on this channel you know i've been quite slow on trying to keep up with content but if you head over to my instagram my tiktoks and things like that there is content on there that you may have missed so head over all the links in the description check out axa as well in the link below and get yourself a little mini projector till next time i see you all then ciao ciao